linked list. A linked list is ordered by its index position, like array list, except that the elements are doubled linked to one another. In the left side, you can see the array list. Each element has a single reference. Because of that implementation, there is fast iteration and slow insertion and deletion. In the right side, you can see the link list. In there, all the elements have two references. Because of that implementation, there is slow iteration, fast insertion and deletion. Here is the sample code for demonstrate the array list. In line number 1, I have imported the java.util.arrays. Line number 2 is my class, class B. And the number 3 is public static void main, the normal stuff. And the line number 4, I have created array list A. And in the line number 5, 6 and 7, I used to add elements to the array list. In line number 5, I have used the add method. And in line number 6, I am using the string, uh, new string, to add the character of G. In line number 7 and 8, in line number 7, I have created a new string and added to added A to that string. And in line, line number 8, I have added that particular string to the array using add method. In line number 10, system.out.println_a, uh, we use to get the output. Now the output should be B, G and A. The set interface. The root element is set. The hash set implement set and the link hash set implement the hash set. In the right side it's the sorted version and the sorted set extend the set and the navigatable set extend the sorted set. Three set implement the navigationable set. The set interface. A set cares about uniqueness. It doesn't allow duplicates. Equals method determines whether two objects are identical, in which case only one can be in the set. The set implementation. The first one is hash set. A hash set is an unsorted, unordered set. It uses the hash code of the object being inserted. So the more efficient your hash code implementation, the better access performance you will get. Use this class when you want a collection with no duplicates and you don't care about order where you iterate through it. The second one is linked hash set. A linked hash set is an ordered version of hash set that maintains a double linked list across all elements. Use this class instead of hash set when you care about the iteration order. The elements are in the order in which they were inserted. The last one is the tree set. The tree set is one of two sorted collections, the other being the tree map. It uses red black tree structure, but you know that um, and guarantees the, the elements will be in the ascending order according to the natural order. In the set, it doesn't allow duplicates, but in our case, it shows duplicates. To overcome that, we have to overwrite two methods. In next slide, you will see that. In here, I have created hash set T to create a hash set, and line number 5, 6 and 7, I have used to add elements to the hash set. In line number 8, system.out.println I used to get the elements out of the T. T is the hash set that I created. In line number 10 and 11, uh, I used to print the element. The output should be 79, 58 and 79. If we don't want to put duplicate values to the hash set, then we must overwrite hash code and the equals method. In line number 12, public boolean equals is ordered and the, in line number 19, public int hash code method has ordered. The map interface. The root element is map. 
the hash table implement the map and the hash map implement the map and the link hash map extend the hash map. In the rightmost corner you can see the sorted version and the sorted map implement the map. The navigational map implement the sorted map and the tree map extend the navigational map. The major methods. You can see the major methods here. Actually, these are the major methods of maps. These are implemented by hash map, hash table, and weak hash map. Map interface. A map cares about unique identifiers. A map uses a unique key, we call the ID, to the specific value, where both the key and the value are objects. The map implementation lets you do things like search for a value based on the key, ask for a collection of just the values, or ask for a collection for just the keys. Like sets, maps rely on the equals method to determine whether two keys are same or different. The hash map. The hash map gives you an unsorted, unordered map. The keys determine based on the hash code. So, like hash set, the more efficient your hash code. Implementation, the better access performance you will get. Hash code allows one null key and multiple null values in a collection. Here is the example code in line number 1 uh, and line number 2 are general stuff. Uh, in line number 3, I have created the hash map T uh, and line number 4, 5 and 6. Uh, I have added elements which has a key uh, in line number 4 the key is number 1 and the element value is AAA uh, there is a slightly different from other methods because uh, instead of get add method in here we use put method in line number 7 you can see I have given null as the key of this particular element and the particular element value I have mentioned as null key. In line number 8, I have put 4 as the key and the C, 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 C for the value. In line number 10, we are supposed to print hash map T and the output should be 45. And using system.out.println in, in line number 11, we call t dot get t. The output should be null equal null key and the one equal a a a and the three equal b b b and the four equal c c c c and the b equal forty five. 